Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We've got the second half of 2019 Tops Gypsy Queen Baseball going on right now. Random team break number two. One spot gets you two teams and a half case break. And all teams are in. Brand new release just dropped today. Let's roll the dice for each list. Full 12 times. Six and a six. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelfth and final time. After twelve times, Ryan Fisher down to Dan Maddox. Dan, what's going on? I see Dan in the chat right now. Twelve times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12th and final time. Good luck, everybody. After 12 times, you got the Angels on top and the Giants on the bottom. All right, Ryan, you have the Angels. Paul with the Red Sox. Mike with the Braves. Uh, Patrick with the Yankees. Mark F. with the Royals. The coach, Paul Nixon, with the Pirates. Mario, you got the Mets. Connor, last spot, Mojo. Rockies, your other last spot, Mojo. Orioles. Rick Barker, you got the Padres. Paul with the Brew Crew. Dan with the Rays. Uh, Robert Rincon with the Mariners. Ricky got the Rangers. Robert with the Twins. Patrick with the A's. Jeremy, 33, with the Phillies. Paul, you have the Cubs. And Mark, you have the Southsiders, the White Sox. Patrick with the Marlins. Mark F. with the Reds. Jeremy Merle, got my Dodgers. Mark with the Nats. Mario, you got the Tribe. Jeremy, 33, with the Tigers. Patrick with the Cards. Mike Grego with the Strohs, Jeremy with the Jays, Ryan Fisher with the Snakes, and Dan Maddox with the Gigantes, the Giants. Let's sort by team. Rick Barker is thinking Rangers for Rockies, Rangers for A's maybe. And here is the uh, second half right there. Remember I marked all of those number two. So you know they're from the same case. So Rick's proposing Rangers, Rockies, or maybe Patrick, maybe if you're interested in moving the A's at all. Checklists are in the chat. Padres for Mets, perhaps. We'll give it a few moments. Harold Reynolds thinks James Paxton is going to win the AL Cy Young. Ron Darling's picking Garrett Cole. I can see Cole. I don't know about James Paxton. I'm just not, just not feeling it for some reason. Are the Jays available? I'm not sure. Is... Uh, Jerry Merle here, interested in moving the Jays. Mario, that's drift, Paul. Maybe, Mario, you want to trade the Indians? Paul's an Indians guy. Nixon has those teams, if you're interested at all. Correct. So on the variation guide, Landon, that is correct. Those card codes for the variants are the very bottom of the cards in fine print, right? So it's the last three digits. It's just like Heritage, last three digits. Orioles for Giants. Oh, there's a lot of trade chatter here. Orioles for Giants, maybe? Or Rockies, perhaps? We'll give it a few more seconds. A lot of trade chatter here. Let's see if a trade gets done, boys and girls. Good luck. Um, I don't know off the top of my head if Boston doesn't have any autographs. Um, actually, let's bring up groupbreakchecklist.com. I haven't memorized a checklist. But some teams don't have autographs. That I do know.
There's the group break checklist. That'll that'll group it by team. Yeah, it looks like Red Sox just have relics. Benintendi, Yaz, David Ortiz, J.D. Martin. Oh, we haven't seen any relics yet. Mookie Betts, Rafael Devers, Sander Bogarts. All right, well, trade window going once. Trade window going twice. And... Uh, TWC, trade window closed. A lot of trade chatter, but no, no deals being done. All right, so, but that was exciting for a second. I thought something was going to happen. The thrill of the trade or the potential trade. Maybe some folks with try to trade couldn't trade mojo at this point. There is the list. Here are the boxes. And here we go. Do that at the end of the box. Who's gonna have a Who's gonna have a better season? Manny Machado or Bryce Harper? What do you guys think? Harold Reynolds has Bryce Harper as his NL most valuable player. Ron Darling is going with Anthony Rizzo. That's interesting. Anyone have any MVP thoughts? NL MVP? I feel like Anthony Rizzo is always on the cusp of of uh, of a potential MVP. Joey Votto too. I feel like Joey Votto got really close one year, or did he win it one year? Recently? Presley White saying Harper because he's in a hitter's park, right? What if uh, what if Manny Machado hits fifty doubles though? He can hit doubles in that park. Oh, MH, or G Lo, first off, is saying that Machado and Harper are both going to get hurt. Machado's pretty durable. Harper, Harper, I could see injuries for Har Harper. Harrison Bader, MH is saying, is going to be better than both of those two. I do have Harrison Bader on my fantasy team. Alvado oh, has gotten it before. He could do it again. Rick Barker is saying, Atomic is saying, Pete Alonzo, the next Mike Trout. Or no, he only won it in 2010, Votto. So Tyler was saying 2010 for Joey Votto. Titanium saying, I'm, I'm worried I made a mistake drafting Stanton instead of Judge. And Tory Hunter is your first autograph. The autographs kind of pop early. Maybe I should go from left to right. Tory Hunter has a nice autograph. That goes to the Twins. That'll be for Robert Rincon. There's Dal Lugo, black and white. We'll kind of do a quick quick check right here and our shipping team will be looking at the the little codes on the on the back right here to catch all of the different short prints and whatnot so 
if there's ones, there are certainly going to be ones that are that are kind of hard to spot just from the from the front. So just in the interest of time, there's Justin Upton. Just in the interest of time, we're going to kind of go through this a little more quickly, and then our shipping team will be able to, to find the other stuff and get them on their way to you. There's Justin Upton for the Angels 250. And just for full disclosure, obviously all the all the cards will be shown on camera. So we'll see that. I think that's a little different, right? Yep. 002 out of 250. Chris Bryant, fortune teller, mini. Is it mini? I guess. I guess it's smaller on the left side, right there. So there you go. We haven't seen the one with the uh, with the different middle logo yet. Focus. There you go. We haven't seen one with the different middle logo yet. So maybe we can spot those. I don't know why the camera doesn't want to focus right there. Wait, did I just, did I really just pass one? I just wasn't paying attention. Who was it? Oh, there it is. Patrick K, better eye than uh than drift. So now I know who to trust and who not to trust when they say I missed something. Patrick K, trust, trust tree, drift, questionable, questionable branch. And there's Ryan Baruki, Baruki, Bar Baruki for the Blue Jays. That's going to go to Jeremy Merle and the Jays. So that's your second auto out of here. Let's look for the bazooka bat cards. Was there a Babe Ruth in there? I think there's a Babe Ruth in there somewhere. I think Jake Lamb for your fantasy teams. I think he's going to have a bounce back here if you're looking for sleepers. Missing nameplate. And no bazooka backs. Box one in the books. And that Strowman will be for the Blue Jays as well. All right, next one. Oh, some can't forget about these. Sometimes these can be autographed too. All right, we got Brandon Crawford. Oh, did I miss another one? 
There's Edwin Encarnacion. And, sorry about that, there's 58 out of 150, Nolan Arenado. And that'll be for Connor and the Rockies. Yeah, those GQs are going to be a lot easier. Well, I don't see the Orioles one, but I'll just, uh, our shipping team will catch all that. Yeah, this is not the Sorter's favorite set. No. But thankfully, it was it it was uh the codes are extremely helpful. That makes life so much easier. There there I think there have been previous years where they haven't done the codes or they haven't published uh, information about the codes, and that makes it uh that makes it a nightmare. The codes make everything so like a million times easier. So that's why we can kind of breeze through this and our our shipping teams will be able to catch all the co different codes and whatnot. But whenever there's like a, a large variation set and then there's no codes, like that is when it's super difficult. That's when, that's a lot of times we usually will just ship everything in that, in that sort of, uh, in that sort of case. Yeah, well, we only we only got a few cases of this. Just for the people who really do like the Gypsy Queen stuff, and there are, there's there's a really really big Gypsy Queen Allen and Ginter kind of fan base out there. A lot of people who love to build these sets and whatnot, so it's worth getting at least a little bit for our purposes. That's actually not a bad idea, Mario. <laughs> having uh, having one person just looking for one type of variation, another person looking for just one type of variation. The autograph's probably in that stack right here. We'll go from left to right. Missing nameplate. Oh, is that right? Rich saying that the mystery redemptions are on fire in this product. When do they announce those those mysterious redemptions? All right, so there's Dylan Bundy for the Orioles, missing nameplate. There's the bazooka back. Manny Margot for the Padres. Rick Barker with the Friars.
Well, if we pull a mystery redemption, it'll go to, uh, I guess everyone has a shot at it. Frank, he says the Padres are going to the playoffs? Playoffs? Michael Kopech, White Sox, nice. Mark F with the Shy Sox. So that's our first autograph out of the box. Yeah, the minis will ship. Those are considered inserts. So they will ship, whether they're rookies or vets. Obviously, anything rookie will ship. So like this David Dahl, which is a non-rookie, will not ship, for example. And it's not a variation, too. Stuff like this, of course, will ship. Well, they could use Mackenzie Gore this year. They need the they need like starting pitching. I think that's what the big issue with the Padres is right now. And nice Christian Stewart, rookie auto for the Tigers. That'll go to Jeremy thirty three with the Tigres. Padres certainly have the the hitting. They have the offense, but it's the. It's the pitching that they don't have. That's gonna be that's gonna be what hurts them. Two oh five out of two fifty. Scooter Jeanette for the red legs. That's gonna go to Mark, Mark F. Kevin Newman, black and white. Thirty-three out of fifty for the Pirates. That's going to go to Paul Nixon. All right, there's Will Myers. Eddie Rosario. I like him this year for fantasy. And Carlos Santana, 129 out of 150 for the Indians. Mario with the tribe. All right, next box. All right, so Frankie is saying that's a that's, that is a bold prediction. Frankie is saying Mets, Padres, Dodgers, Cardinals, and Brewers for the playoffs. I think the Cardinals are going to win that division, that AL, the NL Central. Padres, I just don't see it. I mean, un unless, unless they're st and if they do, it's because guys like Joey Lucchese, like their starters, are, are just really turned it on, you know, and just had amazing seasons. Mets, that'll be interesting. I think the Nationals are going to win that division. Wow. 
That Nationals pitching staff is really scary. Starting rotation, Max Scherzer, Steven Strasburg, Patrick Corbin. I don't want to see that in this. Do you want? Do you, I don't want to see that in a seven-game series. That's it's pretty tough. Go here. All right, here we go. Yeah, does any, anyone else have any thoughts on uh, on Frankie's NL playoff predictions? He said Mets, Padres, Dodgers, Cardinals, Brew Crew. I think the Cardinals will win the uh, will win that division. Brewers probably right behind them. I'm not sold on the Padres. Not quite sold on the on the Mets yet either. I think the Nationals are going to take care of that NL East. Uh -huh. That's why we're doing those checks. Josh Bell for the Pirates. Bazooka back. Oh, is there a missing nameplate that I missed? There it is. That's for the Dodgers. Kip would be happy if the Padres, well, if the Padres get to the World Series. Kip put a dollar on the Padres and the uh, Orioles to make to face each other in the World Series. That would get a uh, that would give Kip ten thousand dollars. Right, playoffs are the first step. I mean, if they go out and get, I thought, I would feel better about that if they went out and got Corey Kluber. There, there was a, there was a rumor for a little bit that the, there's our first autograph out of here, Francisco Garcia, for the Angels. That'll be for Ryan Fisher. One thirty-three to one fifty on that one. But if the Padres went and got Corey Kluber to put on top of that rotation, I think that would have been a big step. I don't know if they if they if they start the season hot, you know maybe there'll be players in the uh, in the trade market. And David Bodie. 
for the Cubs is for Paul Nixon. Remember, David, last year, David Bodie had this run of walk-off like home runs. He had like three in a week or something like that. Landon says David Bowie's going to have a great year. Where is he going to play? He's an infielder, right? Is he going to get enough playing time? 164 out of 250. Tim Beckham for the O's. It's going to go to Connor, one of his last spot mojo teams. All right, two boxes to go. Some seen an autograph in these box toppers. Maybe you will find one here. There's Red Turn 2, Justin Turner. There's Gregory Polanco. For the Pirates, I think these Chrome cards are a nice addition. And a Nick Castellanos. And that is to 150. 12 out of 150 for the Tigers. Jeremy, 33. All right, two boxes to go in random team two. Jacob DeGrom, five years, $137.5 million. It's a good extension for the Mets. Kind of had to do it, right? You can't have Jacob DeGrom contract extension talks just extending throughout the season. And even Syndergaard got into the action. He was just like, I don't know what, I don't know what they're doing. And Syndergaard being very vocal about that. Oh, yeah. Eloy Jimenez also made the opening day roster for the White Sox. So that's those two things, hashtag good for the hobby. Eloy Jimenez for the White Sox and Fernando Tatis Jr. also on the o Padres opening day roster. So I think what would be good for the hobby is for those two guys to really just start the season strong. And then I think we're going to start to see a lot of hype surrounding those guys. And then if Vlad Guerrero Jr. gets called up, which he probably will be, probably by May or something like that. He's a little banged up, but starting starting in May, that'll be good for the hobby. And then the next thing you know, we're going to start to see a lot of these new rookies in upcoming sets chase all those guys. It'll be nice to have some uh, like a like a handful of solid players to to chase in the hobby this year. You know, last year it was all about Otani, right? I mean, they all uh, all these autographs. There's a lot of great vet autos, and Topps does a good job about that sort of stuff. But in terms of rookies, it's just Otani last year. Year before that, 
Ballinger a little bit, but basically Aaron Judge, right? So it'll be good to have like a few few big players to chase throughout the season. All right, Dan Maddox has some picks. For the National League, he's thinking Atlanta, St. Louis, Dodgers, Wild Cards, Philly, and the Cubs. All right, I can see that. You can definitely see that. That NL Central is going to be brutal, I think. I think I think it'll take less than 90 games for someone to win that division and it's going to be tight. Brewers are good, Cubs are good, Cardinals are good. You know. And I don't think, you know, Cincinnati has made a lot of improvements too. And they're going to you know, and they won't be an easy win. I don't think the Pirates are going to be an easy win either. That Ian Desmond bazooka back will go to Connor and the Rockies. So they're going to beat up on each other in that NL Central. Missing nameplate. And Cedric Mullins is your autograph. And that is for Connor, one of his last spot mojo teams, Orioles. Nice. Should be one more autograph in this stack here. And there it is. It's Matt Chapman. Oakland A's, Patrick K with the A's. Nice, Matthew Chapman. So those are your two autographs there. Let's see if there's any other serial numbered cards or any... Uh, any surprises here? Bonus autographs, maybe? There's Edwin Diaz. AOB saying Dodgers, Cubs, Nationals, with the wild cards, Brewers, and Cardinals. See, I don't know if that's... See, I think... The Cubs, Brewers, and Cardinals beat up in each other on each other so much that I don't think there could be a second or even third team. I don't think the wild card's coming out of that divi about, out of that NL Central. All right. Oh, let's see what's in here. Then we'll do our last box of Random Team 2. I see six orders coming in, so we'll check those as soon as we're done with this break. And we'll see what we're going to get into after this. There's Luis Severino. The Yankee might be the Yankees here this year. There's Chris Davis. Oakland A's. Patrick K and there's Reese Hoskins for the Phillies. That's going to go to Jeremy 33.
All right, fifth and final box in random team break two. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. I want to get a box hopper autograph. I haven't seen one of those yet. AOB feels bad for the Pirates. They're going to get beat up. Uh, who's going to be... Who's going to be the worst team in baseball? Baltimore by far, says Travis. Yeah, I'm looking at the, the standings right here. Marlins. What about the Marlins? Who loses more games, the Orioles or the, or, or the Marlins? I mean, I, I feel like Baltimore at least has a little bit of a little bit of promise, right? They've got they've got some young players. They got some Trey Mancini, some Joey Rykards. They're not bad, you know. They're they're name prospects, but the the Marlins have nobody. They got what? One of the guys from the Brewer, Brewers, I think, and one of the in the Yellow Steel. That's about it. JT Real Muto is gone. Cameron saying Blue Jays will be down there too. Yeah, Blue Jays are going to be pretty bad. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I'm thinking, AOB, is that Baltimore's edge is their young prospects, which is why they may be able to, to, to eke out some wins here and there, you know? Say against the Blue Jays, or if the, if the Yankees, the Red Sox aren't paying attention, you know what I mean? They kind of get lazy. It's like, oh, we're facing Baltimore. They may drop a game or two against the Orioles because of that. I think Marlins are just, are just at the bottom of the barrel. Giants could be decent. I feel like they're just a little old. They're a gritty veteran team. White Sox could be pretty bad. Mariners rebuilding. Mariners could be bad too. All right, last box. Bazooka back. Got it. There's Trevor Story. Speaking of Trevor Story, Rick Barker saying Rockies World Series champs? I mean, there's always got to be a surprise team, right? There's always a team that, that comes out of no... I mean, we didn't expect... The Braves to be as good as they were last season, right? Uh, 
And the Rock is already pretty good last year, so... Looks pretty good. The usual kind of... The, the usual quirkiness. Yeah, they did change up the the color palette. Yeah, it's a little bit darker, right? Matt Olson is your first autograph out of our last box. See, Rockies have the pitching. Rockies have the hitting. They can do it. They finally found some pitchers who could pitch out there. There's Matt Olson, A's, Patrick K with the A's. And Luis Urias, nice. Rookie auto for the Padres. Tyler's saying Garcia's look good. He's not even the big prospect. When's Joey Bart supposed to come up? So does Buster... I guess Buster Posey has been playing first base. They shift him over to first. I always thought that... Uh, I always thought that... It's not a 250 right there. I thought that Brandon Belt would really have a big breakout season. So Joey Bart, maybe a cup of coffee this year, but probably next year. Interesting. I didn't think he was that soon. All right, that's that, folks. There you go. There are your two autographs. Let's see if there's a bonus auto in here. Jeff Hensley in the house. What up, Jeff? Surprise team Reds. I do like the I do like the Reds because of the former Dodgers on there. Justin, I think I think for your fa uh, fantasy baseball players, this is not really a sleeper, but Yasiel Puig. I think um, I think Yasiel Puig is going to crush in that ballpark. Middle of the summer in that ballpark, bandbox, Yasiel Puig in a in a contract year. I, I have a feeling that he's gonna he's gonna be well motivated and he's gonna crush in that ballpark. Twenty four out of fifty on that Kevin Pilar. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. No autographs in the box hoppers in this entire case, but some pretty solid stuff. 2019 Tops Gypsy Queen Baseball. We've got some more, so keep an eye out for it on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break.